Hello, Froggy here, and today I'll be showing you how to get outside of Cadmus Ridge without ever going outside of Cadmus Ridge. So it's very important that we start at the Starian Abyss for this, for reasons that I don't understand at all. We ran into this while I was trying to test default spawn mechanics with uh, Henry. And, uh,. It actually had popped up once before while messing around with JB3. He managed to uh, hit that, but we weren't really sure how to trigger it. And while we can get it consistently now, we still have no idea how this works. It's similar to the situation we had a while back with the Corrupted Spawn in Corrupted. Except that for this one, for some reason, Having touched a Starian Abyss is seemingly very important. And now for the strange part. So I've just hit Cadmus again. I'm just going to die here. This should give me my default spawn point. Which is here. This is not inside the map. Not quite sure why, but it's fairly silly. Well, might as well do some bonus out-of-map exploration now that we're here. Perhaps the strangest thing about that default is that if someone joins your fire team, they won't spawn there. They'll spawn in-map. But if they go into Bray and head back, they will get the out-of-map default spawn. However, if they join you inside Braytech, they won't. It has interesting implications for what state is copied when you join a fire team. I'm just going to head over to the creation side here because there's some neat little places that you can get into. There are out of maps you can use to get to this area as well, but they require you to do something silly like actually finding a hole in the map instead of just hitting a load zone and dying. Ah, those things. Shame you can't just ride them out of map. But if you've been through the creation area, you've no doubt seeing the little uh, conveyor belt and like assembly stuff going on in there. And there's a nice hole here you can use to get in where there's an intangible wall. JB3 has a video of this area from a while back. You can see where the uh, stuff coming out just kind of appears. And the hole that we used is a uh, actually the area that opens up where it puts those blocks. So you can kind of see why the uh, collision there might be a little bit wonky. Anyways, we can just take a little ride on this conveyor belt. Or really more of a walk since it doesn't actually move you. I wonder where all this stuff goes to. Hello there, little arm. Well, seems the answer is nowhere. It just disappears like it appeared. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that brief tour, and uh, do let me know if you can figure out any more details on what is required to make that wrong default work.